Jeremy, take us through what happens here. Well, this is looking very routine. They come around a lap car. That's the 77 car. Now, look at He's tucked underneath the 77 car. crash but wait till you see this in slow-mo replay now what we'll do here for you is do a freeze frame also jeremy okay look at how tight he is tucked in now keep in mind they're cresting the hill he's pulling probably fourth gear right at the strongest part of, of fourth or fifth gear here and you can see now a little bit of air under the front of the car and now once it gets to this point it is gone there's absolutely nothing he can do that car is going to blow over, and there's nothing he can do about it. Takes off like an aeroplane. Dalmas is in the car. Look, he ticks, tucks his head forward. He knows he's in for a ride here. But just have a look at the height here, and we'll freeze it again when the car is upside down. Look at this astonishing pictures here. He's 25 feet in the air, completely upside down. And luckily, the car goes straight. It doesn't really veer off the racetrack too much, and it lands on its tail. So the nose of the car is in pretty good shape. The car lands here, boom, on its tail. Obviously, a bunch of oil here comes out of the car, quick oil fire, and then the car lands and will hit the barrier. Of course, the nose flies off. But just an unbelievable accident. We're going to look at it again in real time, and we'll listen to it, because it's just phenomenal. Just listen. is in the pit lane right now live with Calvin Fish. Calvin. Well, there's just shock down here in the Porsche pit right now. Herbert, you had a chance to look at the monitor and uh, see what happened. What is your consensus of the incident out there on the track with uh, Yannick? No, I think he was too close to the number 77 car and lost all down first and top of the hill. Had you had any indication this weekend? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of elevation change at this racetrack. Any problems with the car in that, of that nature? Absolutely nothing, but this is an aerodynamic car, and if it's too close to another car, for sure it loses downforce. And in combination with uh, uh, the negative acceleration on that hill, uh, he must have lost every, every uh, let me say, contact with the ground and uh, became an airplane. Obviously, as you say, just a set of circumstances there. There is a slight elevation as you come out of turn seven and uh, got very close to the EOS car, but um, obviously disappointment in this inaugural Petit Le Mans race to be out right now. Uh, for sure, leading uh, I think almost six hours and controlling everything and uh, then something like that. This is totally disappointing for sure. But first of all, I have to look for my driver. I hope he's okay. I had him on the radio, uh, but uh, we'll see. We're sorry to see you out. Thanks, guys.